This particular presentation is aimed at those who have already embedded the app on their phones, the virtual safety app, and need to get a little bit sharp on the best way to use this app. One of the things that we're asking people to do, particularly travelers to hostile environments, environments where there's a suspicion that there could be some concern and that's entirely up to the user. It could be um, a city in North America, many of which have their danger spots as much as other countries around the world. But if a user is in any area that gives them cause for concern, what we ask them to do is to just simply open the app and carry it around with them, have it in their lap in the car, have it in their pocket um, when they're traveling, so what they can do with one click is send an emergency call out with a locate. In this case, the locate is at the top. But periodically, if you're, if you're traveling, it's always useful just to close the app down again when you have a minute, open it up again to get a fresh locate. So if you're traveling over a distance, locate after locate after locate. Now, the important side of the app in terms of travel safety is making sure that the app functions when you hit a particular country, airport, dockyard, drive across the border. We don't mind at all if the app is tested fully. So you open it up, it locates nicely, send out the emergency call. Now, I'm not going to bother these monitoring folk now. So I'm cutting off that call, but that call goes through. The monitoring team get a locate and you're on the line telling them, listen, this is fine, it's just a test. They might bounce a security question off you to make sure you are in fact doing this of your own free will and somebody's not forcing you to uh, tell us that it's, everything's okay. What you know at that point is that you've arrived, the app functions, we know where you are and off you go and carry on your business. Now, some of the other tactical situations you might find yourself in, if you're driving away from a certain point and you feel that you're under surveillance, another time to get out the app, get it ready to go. Turns out not to be a surveillance, leave the app, move on with your day. If you drive around a corner into some form of roadblock, Maybe it looks like police, maybe it looks like locals. Again, get the app out, get it into your lap and get ready to press the emergency calls button. What we advise you to do is to hit that button and then hide the phone. The call will continue to go. The monitoring team are briefed to just listen and not say anything. Pick up the ambient noise, some of the things that are shouted and remembering all of these calls are recorded when they come in. So it's great for follow-up afterwards. We have a locate, we have a call, and we have a recording to listen to. Could be that's just a false alarm. Maybe pick up the phone and identify yourself, answer the security question, uh, explain what happened to move on with your day. We've got no problem with that at all. Other applications we've seen this thing used, going through a border checkpoint, we get a particularly aggressive, corrupt, border official demanding money, phone taken out, press the button, talk to our security people. Listen, I'm just talking to the security people. Did you want to talk to them? And we find in most cases, certainly the ones we've uh, experienced, that they're very happy to let the user travel on through without any further harassment. We've also found it, it interesting to take these apps into meetings where you're able to take a cell phone and, and those meetings are getting less and less incidentally. Take the cell phone in, hit the app, record the entire meeting. Somebody listening at the other end and if there's any accusations of impropriety, bribes offered, bribes demanded, then at least you've got some sort of evidence back at the monitoring station that this in fact had not happened or happened contrary to how we've been told it did. So all in all, it's a very nice tactical tool. It needs to be tested regularly. It needs to be reset regularly. And all that means is close it down, 
open it up and it'll do a fresh locate. Because we haven't moved here, it's not gonna move either. So that's some of the tactical methods of utilizing the virtual security safety app. Now it's important to realize this is as relevant at the home office as it is in some branch office way out in the, in the uh, countryside in areas that are higher risk. So to have it on your phone permanently is a good idea and not an inconvenience in the least. Simple upload, registration, so we know who calls when the call comes in. Remembering that we get not only a call, but we'll get an email and off of BlackBerry and iPhone, we'll also get a text giving us the location. So there's three very nice levels of redundancy for those people that feel nervous. Virtual safety app, VSA. Thanks very much.